morning uh, students uh, today we will be uh, focusing on uh, 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 we will be focusing on uh, identity before i go to identity i would like to go back to uh, part 2 and uh, uh, show you certain things which will be of benefit to you let us we you understand we have discussed uh, uh, this particular polynomial O t square minus t minus 1 and whether t2 plus 1 is a factor of uh, this polynomial. And we have said that for that purpose what we have to do, we have to find the value of t, t equal to minus 1 and half and then we have to substitute in this polynomial p t and then show that this remainder becomes 0, right? So we made a, uh, uh, I think some, purposely I made an error so that I can see whether the people who are uh, studying my uh, video can find it out. But I want to now use it for some other purpose. Let us do this one all over again. Let us put the value of uh, t here. This is minus half into t cube plus uh, 4 into minus half into t square plus a uh, minus minus half minus one okay is this okay with you okay let's do this now so it will be four into this will be minus four because this minus will come this is cube so this will be half into half because three times uh, multiplication of half plus this will be plus because this will be squared so this will be four into uh, half into half this will be plus half, plus half, and this will be minus one. Let's see what it comes out to be. So this will, this, this will go, this will be minus half, this four will go, so half half into minus half, this will go, and this will become plus one. So this will be uh, plus, this is half, half that is it, this is minus one. This and this will become 1 minus 1 and half and this will become plus 1 and half. This will cancel and this will become 0. Okay. So which means T2 by plus 1 is a, is a, a factor of Pt. Okay. This is okay. This is the one way. I will show you a faster way of doing the same thing. I take this one and I will use synthetic division in order to show that remainder again will become zero. So let us take this one. What I showed last time, I will take minus one and half here, one and half on this thing, and I will say uh, the, uh, this thing of uh, coefficient of this. So this is four. This is minus one. This is minus one. Okay. So these are the coefficient. Then I will just drop this one as it is. I will multiply this with uh, half minus half with, uh, with four. So that will give me minus two. And then I will add up. So this will be two. I will multiply 2 with this one. So this will become minus. So this will become minus 1. This will become minus 1. So this add up. So this will be minus 2. I will multiply minus 2 with, with 2. Uh, 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 minus 2 with minus half. That will give me plus 1. So if this will become 0. So this is reminder, so it is also reminder, or you see how much faster this is one than the previous one I have shown you. So this is known as synthetic division. There are a lot of uh, points that this has not been uh, shown in any one of the textbook. That is because textbook takes uh, a time to change. Okay, so next one we will we'll go through it is, uh, is show you about identity. Identity is why identities are important. I then T T. It's not only that you should know about these identities, 
these identities show that they are true for all values of x and y so this you have to uh, understand learn and identify the identities so that you can utilize them first of all these you have already done in your earlier classes x plus y square what is that would be x square plus y square plus 2xy you don't have to remember the next one that means you can always deduce this one say for example i want x minus y so what i will do i will put minus y y wherever what positive y is there i will put minus y okay so what it will become it is already squared this will be x square plus y square minus 2xy so don't try to remember the negative part of this one so this is you will be able to do that okay on this square let us say we have three of them x plus y plus z so how we will do that they will be same thing it will it will be similar to this y square plus now you have to consider z square then you have to do two it is plus here two into then you will do what i do i make a small uh, uh, i mean clockwise x y and z so this would be x y plus y z plus z x okay now you can put any one of them negative that means you can have uh, say uh, y negative so it will be x minus y say plus z if is ka aapko square chahiye to jahan pe y hai wahan pe plus y hai wahan pe minus y daliye so ye to minus y hone se bhi ye yahi reh jayega plus plus ye bhi 2 reh jayega ye ye hoga minus xy ye ho gaya minus yz and plus ye hoga z so you don't have to re remember all the variations just remember one of these variations and then you can do similarly you can have z as minus say for example suppose you have z as minus then what will happen it will be x minus y minus z then what you will do you will put z wherever you have positive z you have to put negative z so plus 2 into minus to yahi pe hai so minus e x y ho jayega minus z and y z and y minus so it should be plus y z or e ho gaya minus z x so take care of uh, of the negative signs so you can put up a series of this one uh, uh, like this wherever you want to uh, uh, do this kind of a thing next identity that i want to emphasize on which is very very frequent in you and these identity you will see everywhere that would be x square minus y square this is already x is should be already known x plus y into x minus y this is known this you will be able to easily identify it. then you have suppose i cube it instead of that what will be identity of x plus y cube so this will be cube so x cube must be there y cube must be there plus ye 3 hai 3 xy into x plus y x minus karna se kya hoga to x minus yahan pe minus dala y ke liye uska cube kya hoga x cube और ये जो है ना ये माइनस हो गया तो माइनस वाई क्यू प्लस ये माइनस होगा थ्री जो ये माइनस होगा माइनस माइनस थ्री एक्स वाई और ये वाई का माइनस आ गया और एक्स माइनस वाई सो आप देख रहे हो कि इसमें से एक अगर मुझे याद रहेगा तो दूसरा करने में मुझे ज्यादा डिफिकल्टी नहीं हुआ अनदर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दिस थिंग आइडेंटिटी इज एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर व्हाट वुड बी अगेन एक्स प्लस वाई प्लस नो दैट विल बी सॉरी दिस इज नॉट एक्स स्क्वायर वाई स्क्वायर इट विल कम टू दिस थिंग 
This will be x cubed plus y cubed. That will be x squared uh, minus xy plus y squared. Yes. Yes. Huh? So, so the whole thing, you will, what I want to emphasize here, that always remember the plus one. The next, the negative one, you can always find out. For example, here also if you see, if I want x minus y, then all I have to put in wherever y is this thing. Because if you minus y, you square it, it will be a plus x square, y square. So this will be only minus here, 2 a x y. So always remember, this you have to remember because there is no positive negative here. This also you remember this part of it. The next one, x minus 1, you can derive yourself. Second one, if you, if you see here, that this I have derived from here. I have not tried to memorize this. Here also you can do the same one. See, if I have to make x cube minus y cube will be equal to x minus y because I am putting y minus in case of y. Here it should be x square y, so this will be plus xy plus y square. So you don't have to memorize. You only memorize this one. You only memorize the positive one. Negative one, you can automatically deduce by yourselves even in the charged circumstances of your examination. So, but if you try to remember which one will be minus and which one will be plus in the terms, then it's liable that you will make a mistake. The other very important one, I would like to emphasize on that is x cube plus y cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xyz is equal to x plus y plus z into x square into x square plus y square plus z square minus again i will do like this x y z so it will be minus x y minus y z minus z x is it okay with you this is this is one of the most important uh, uh, uh this thing where there are very very interesting uh, there are very very interesting um, uh, interesting uh, more applications. I'll take one applications for you and that would be very important and this is from I have, I have taken I'm taking it from the um, uh, this thing itself from uh, uh, from NCRT book and it says a very important uh, how do I multiply five one zero five uh, into say uh, uh, 106. How do I do this? The way to do it would be I will put 100 plus 5 into 100 plus 6. So this is this would be what if you multiply 100 into 100 plus square plus in the no addition x into 5 uh, uh, plus 6 then into these two so 5 into 6 so what it will be is q per all those 0 dal do is q per 11 karke do 0 dal do is q per 30 dal do so it will be actually ye dono 30 ho jayega ye 30 kar do iska ye bhi 0 ho jayega ye dono 11 kar do ye ho gaya 10 Okay, so this would be the value if you see this, this would be its value. It's a very interesting question here where it says that there is an area. There is, a, there is an area whose uh, value of the area follows a certain polynomial. And that polynomial is 25, 25 a square, let us say, uh, minus 35 a, a plus 12. Okay, now it says what would be its length and breadth. 
वट वुड बी इसका लेंथ का क्या पॉलिनोमियल होगा या इसका ब्रेथ का क्या पॉलिनोमियल होगा इसका लेंथ का क्या पॉलिनोमियल होगा तो हाउ वुड यू फाइंड आउट बिकॉज लेट एस से दिस एरिया वुड बी प्रोडक्ट ऑफ से लेंथ इन टू ब्रेथ लेंथ एल इन टू बी सो आई हैव टू बेसिकली फैक्टराइज दिस अगर मैं इसको फैक्टराइज कर पाया तो इसका लेंथ और ब्रेथ का मुझे एक एनालिसिस मिलेगा तो मुझे फैक्टराइज कैसे करना पड़ेगा अगेन स्प्लिट इन द मिडिल स्प्लिट इन मिडिल मतलब 25 इंटू बारह पांच बारह साठ दिस वुड बी 300 और ये कैसे मैं 300 कैसे लाऊं इसको अच्छा सो यू सी दैट इफ आई मल्टीप्लाई 25 into 12 that becomes 300 if i break 300 into down into its uh, 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 factors then it is 3 10 into 10 i can do i can further break down this any one of the tens and i have 5 into 2 into 10 so i have to bring 35 here so i will do 15 plus 20 Okay, so this will be twenty-five a square minus fifteen a minus twenty a plus twelve. Okay, let us take now from here. I can take five a. Five a will be what? This will be five a, and this will be three. And from here, I will take again five. I take four. Four. Then it will be five uh, a plus minus three because I am taking minus out. So then it will be five a. It will be here. I will write it will be five a because five a minus four into five a minus three. Is that okay? So any one of them can be the breadth. Or any one of them can be the length. So this would be the answer. That you will have two products which is multiplied, and those two product any one. You are not sure which one will be the length, which one will be the breadth. But you can say out of these two, one will be the breadth, one will be the length. This is very very an interesting one. Again, I can do another one, similar one. I don't have to go through this one. I will take up which is related to a volume. and it says i needed two products second one is a volume which is which it says that 3x x cube minus 12x okay it says this is a volume why this is a volume this is how the volume goes it says find out the length breadth and the uh, height so it will be i do we like this So take this height, okay? So height will be like this. Ye ho gaya apka height. Ye ho gaya length. Ye ho gaya breadth. Man lo ye ho gaya height. So I should get three factors out of it. So let us take first factor. I can always take three x out, right? Three x agar out le le le. To ye kya hoga? X square minus four, right? We have just learned the identity. So that will be three x into X minus two into x plus two. So I got three factors. So any one of them can the be the length, can be the breadth, and can be the height. So now you see the applications of these. So these are the applications that you can use in order to utilize this. There is another very interesting question which I have just showed you. I will pick up one of those. and you will find it will be like this one say for example it says x plus y equal to plus z equal to 0 so that so that show not so that me show that so that x cube plus y cube Plus z cube is equal to three x y z. So, इसको आप कैसे करोगे? इसको very easy. आप एक क्या हम करो? X cube plus y cube plus z cube को minus three 
एक्स वाई जेड में ले आओ ठीक है ना इस तरफ से इधर ले आओ जैसे ही इसको इधर ले आओ आई कैन इमीडिएटली राइट एक्स प्लस वाई प्लस जेड इंटू एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस डॉट 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 आई कैन राइट दो आई डोंट इवन आई नीड टू कंप्लीट बट इट हैज बीन टोल्ड दैट दिस इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो द होल थिंग विल बी इक्वल टू जीरो सो देयर फोर एक्स क्यूब प्लस वाई क्यूब प्लस जेड क्यूब माइनस थ्री एक्स वाई जेड इक्वल टू जीरो देयर फोर एक्स वाई एक्स क्यूब प्लस वाई क्यूब प्लस जेड क्यूब इक्वल टू थ्री x y z then there is also another very very interesting uh problem that comes up on this applications this is from your uh, identity there is another very very important applications which is which i will just write down uh from my notebook and show show it to you it says evaluate minus 12 square plus 7 square Plus five square, five cube, not square. They are cube to an in order to have that application. Okay, how would you do it? You know that this would be minus right three into minus twelve into seven into five would be what equal to. That will be. I can put it in x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus three x y z in this identity, right? So let us put it in this identity. What this identity says? It says x plus y plus z. Then x square plus y square plus z square z square plus 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 plus. It goes like this. I don't have to do this. Why? I'll show you. First of all, I will find out what is this x plus y plus z is equal to. That will be minus twelve plus seven plus five. If you do this addition, you will find this is becoming zero. So I don't know. Don't need the other one. So I will say this to evaluate this. To evaluate this one, I will. I will. What I will do? I will say twelve. Q plus seven Q plus five Q. This would be equal to three X means minus twelve, Y means seven, and Z means five. So you multiply this. So if you multiply this again, it will be very easy. Is multiply this one. So this one will be. Uh, uh, three uh, into five is thirty-five. Okay. Into three. So the first minus le lo bahar into twelve. So ye kar lo. Five. Ye ho gaya ten into bara. Ye ho gaya ten into two. Or ye ho jayega apko one hundred five. So all will be one two six zero. So this rule is one two six zero with a minus. So these kind of applications, you don't have to go and try to find out. Do it. You will always find these things. Whatever is values are given here, will always addition will always be equal to zero. And so this kind of an application you can do it. And in case of multiple choice questions, you know that it should be three into uh, like, uh, this one, and you can give that those values because you don't have to go any further on this one. Okay, so we have completed some of these applications, and I have picked up only which are very very intelligently given in this book, and that I will like to uh, show you further. There is another uh, uh, way of doing it. Let us this says factorize now. Twenty seven y cube plus. One twenty-five z cube. Twenty-five. This you can see. Okay. Now, how do you factorize it? Unless you use, unless you use identity, you will never be able to factorize this. 
So what this will become? This will become uh, uh, 3 into y cube plus this will be 525, 5 into z cube. So this will fall under x cube plus y cube. What is that identity? So that will be x square plus x plus y into x square minus xy plus y square. Am I correct? This should be the identity. You, you, you can check because your notes you have written all those things whether this is correct. I am sure this one is correct because I have just told you so. So it will be like this one. Best way to remember, I, I made this one, is take this one at the end. So x plus y, you will know this will be x plus y. Plus x square plus y square minus x y. You can relate this one with x plus y square. Book here, x square plus y square plus 2xy. So, here 2 ke jaga mein khali 1 hai or ye bhi x square y square hai and it should be multiplied by 1. So, is mein kya karna hai aapko khali x or y ka value dalna hai. Yaha pe x kya hai 3y. 3y. Ye ho gaya plus 5z. Okay. Ye kya ho ga? Again 5z ka 3y ka. 3y ka square plus is ka square is ka square hoga 5z ka square minus 3y into 5z. Okay? So you got two products. So this is your you can be able to factorize.